Hi, it's me again, and it looks like more and more MPs are jumping on our personal battle bandwagon about the TV licence. Take a look at this story with me. TV licence fee bill is one to watch, says Philip Davis. So this article is written by Philip Davis, who's a Conservative MP, apparently. Now, my good friend and fellow Conservative MP, Peter Bone, not my good friend, I would not be friends with an MP, is bringing forward a private member's bill which I wholeheartedly support. The BBC Licence Fee Abolition Bill. Ooh, that sounds interesting, doesn't it? The BBC Licence Fee Abolition Bill. Go on, the Tory MPs. Let's read on. It is clear that the BBC and the licence fee have lost the confidence of a lot of British people, not least with regards to how the over-75s have been treated, and yet individuals still risk ultimately being sent to prison after ending up in court for not paying the fee. Ah, oh, they... I don't... They're just jumping on a bandwagon, these MPs, aren't they, to try and win votes with the popular people because they don't live in the real world and they don't understand what you have to go through, what I have to go through, on a daily basis with money. Right? And this next line tells you that. Look, if people did have a choice over paying the licence fee, they do have a choice over paying the licence fee. It's not a mandatory tax, Mr MP man. <laughs> it's optional. It's a subscription service. If you don't pay it, you just can't watch anything as it's being broadcast or use BBC iPlayer. You don't have to pay it and you can save the 159 quid a year, which to you, Mr MP man, is probably an average lunch, I would imagine. But to some of us, it could make a bit of a difference to our lives. 159 quid a year, nice bit of winter heating bill, isn't it? They don't get it. Anyway, rant over. If people did have a choice over paying the licence fee, then they'd get fed up with the BBC's obsession with political correctness not to mention the very real concerns of bias, they could take direct action and decide not to pay it. They already can! They can take that direct action and decide not to pay it today. I've been doing it for nearly 10 years. You go on TV Licence Resistance Forum, right? Those people on there have been pay not paying it for way longer than I haven't been and have helped more people than I have. I'm doing the best I can, but... Unless you MPs know what you're talking about, how can you have a licence fee abolition bill when you don't know whether you need to pay the licence fee or not? <laughs> it goes on. In this supposedly free country, people should not be forced by law to pay for a TV station they do not want to agree with. You're not. If you don't want to watch the BBC or any live TV, you can cancel your television licence today. It should be a choice. And if the BBC is so convinced that the fee is excellent value for money as it keeps telling us, why does it need the law to force people to pay? Surely if it's such good value, people will buy it anyway. So I just wanted to talk to you about this because I don't think this helps the fight at all. If anything, this reinforces people's fears that they have to pay for a TV licence. I was brought up believing it's mandatory, you have to pay for your TV licence. And there's still so many people out there, you know, in the country, that believe if you own a television, you must pay for a TV licence. And it's things like this from an MP talking about a fellow MP and, you know, a private member's bill and all these big important words, it reinforces the fact that, you oh, you have to have a television licence. When you don't, he's, he doesn't even know the rules of the thing himself and he's fully supportive of a bill. You don't need to pay for a television licence, Mr Philip Davis, all right? If you don't want to support the BBC, you don't like who they are, what they do, you don't have to pay them today and it's not a crime to do so it's absolutely fine to do all you all you have to miss is anything as it's being broadcast or using bbc iplayer but you can still watch itv channel 4 channel 5 you just do it on their free catch-up services which is more convenient than watching it on broadcast anyway so the only thing you're going to miss is bbc stuff and that's the point you're trying to make but the point you're trying to make is completely immaterial because you don't have to pay the bbc now we don't need a private members bill for that. So please, please, all these MPs who are jumping on the bandwagon to try and score points with the common folk, learn the rules before you do it, all right? So what do you think about this? If Mr. Philip Davis or his good friend and fellow Conservative MP, Mr. Peter Bone, happen to be your local MP, do write to them or send them an email, whatever. Send them a link to this video, letting them know because they need to understand the rules of something they want to bring a private members bill into, right? And let me know what you think about the whole fiasco of these MPs down in the comments below. I always read all your comments. And while you're down there, hit the like button, subscribe button, all of that stuff. And I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.